The major global challenge we face today is keeping temperatures to 1.5. Renk Group is a hidden champion when it comes to key technologies, decarbonisation and the energy transition to support this global mission. The group is one of the world's leading producers of mission-critical drive solutions to empower a secure and sustainable future. I sat down at the COP28 talks here in Dubai to talk to the CEO of Marine and Industry at Rent Group, Nadine Despinou. Great to be here at COP28 with you. Why are you here? Why is your company here? And what's your mission for the week? Yeah, I mean, um, for us, energy transition and decarbonization is, I mean, the core where we are here, right? Um, and for us, it's really interesting because we are offering our products to a wide range of different end markets. So uh, we have here the opportunity to engage with people who are very specific in certain areas. And that's very, very interesting for us because we learn what drives their industries, right? So. Also, are you excited about any announcements or anything that's been said already? You know, what, uh, what I like a lot is the spirit which you feel here. You have, in a lot of cases, discussions about energy transition, which is more kind of about the challenge. Here you feel the opportunity. And, uh, and that's really encouraging, that there's so many people who are driving this forward. I think it's really inspiring to do this. Let's talk a little bit more in our studio. Absolutely, thank you very much. Nadine Despinou, wonderful to have you here at the COP leadership interviews, right in the thick of it here at COP28, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. So Renk is one of the world's global leading manufacturers when it comes to products within security and sustainability. Tell us more about your company and the innovation that you're rolling out today. Yeah, as you rightly said, our mission is to empower um, secure and sustainable future. And we are a world leading provider when it comes to solutions, either to the defense or to the civil markets. And we are offering our products uh, like gearboxes or couplings or slide bearings up to complete test systems and many more. And we are aiming to contribute to the most relevant topics of this world. And this is on the one hand side, peace and security. And on the other hand side, a carbon neutral world to contribute to a sustainable future. What sort of appetite are you seeing for this type of innovation within the security world? You know, rank is a technology leader and the core of everything we do is um, developing products, especially also for the energy transition. And um, it is important for us to build on our, we have 150 years of experience in engineering and applying this engineering technology now to the needs of uh, sustainability and um, energy transition. And, and that's, that's quite interesting because typically you see a lot of startups and bringing new technologies on the market, which is extremely important. But there are also companies like ours who have all those experiences and they can just apply it to this, um, to this new applications. And that's, for example, when we serve our customers, we serve traditional markets, which is steel or cement industry, where we uh, help our customers for more efficient products. And on the other hand side, we are stepping right into new energies uh, like hydrogen or carbon capturing or industrial heat pumps, mm, but also wind power. In order to achieve a successful transition towards carbon neutrality, a lot needs to be done in terms of the technology, the innovation, the processes. Absolutely. Tell us more about the innovation, the new technologies that you're working on to make this change? We strongly believe that um, when really this energy transition should be successful, we need to change massively um, infrastructure, technologies, um, but also complete production processes. And we are with our products basically in all those critical parts of that supply chain and we can contribute with our products in all of those different steps and I think that's important that we are not just 
focusing on one area, but serving all of them. So it seems like you've done a lot already in quite a short amount of time. So what are your key achievements to date that you're most proud of? I mean, when it comes to energy transition, our products are stepping in when, um, for example, gases need to be compressed and liquefied, which you need, for example, to transport or store hydrogen. Or in the opposite, if you need to have liquid gases expanded, like you need for uh, industrial heat pumps. And um, we are very proud that uh, we had been the partner of choice for really important lighthouse projects. And I just wanted to mention two of them. So one of them is the famous Salkos project. That's a German uh, steel manufacturer, the Salzgitter AG, and they decarbonize basically the steel uh, production completely. Um, and as we all know, steel contributes to a massive way to CO2 pr uh, production or, or emissions. Um, so it is of utmost essence to bring new technologies into those processes to decarbonize the industry. And uh, what they do, they go to a, um, a direct reduction iron process uh, where they are capable to reduce uh, CO2 emissions uh, by 95% and more. So it's really massive. Uh, and we are the partner of choice in this project and we are very proud to be a part of that. Uh, but there are also other projects um, like industrial heat pumps. Mm, for example, the city of Helsinki. They have uh, decided to invest into industrial heat pumps to heat and cool the whole city. And they have installed those heat pumps underneath the city um, so they can uh, basically take care in winter for warming the city and cooling uh, the city in summer times. And we are in both of these processes, cooling and warming uh, of, the, of the city. Um, but there are many more examples for industrial heat pumps. For example, um, they work uh, to utilize the heat of big data center. So when they, they, they operate the computers, they have a lot of uh, waste heat and they are unused today. So they wanted to use that in order to generate energy out of this. Um, and we are also the partner of choice of those projects. And these are kind of achievements which, uh, which are coming on the horizon and more and more of these projects are coming and, and uh, we are participating in that. Two very impressive projects there. What do you think makes you the partner of choice then? I think what is, what is important is that um, we are really um, a, a long-term partner. So, um, especially when it comes to um, trusting into new energy um, or trusting into new technologies. Um, that is a very, very important part that you, you have customers who believe that you are capable of doing this. Um, you typically don't do these projects with partners you don't know. And I think that's something which we bring to the table, a very long um, relationship to a lot of customers, but also a lot of know-how when it comes to technology. Well, it seems like you're doing a lot for the industry, but what is Rent Group doing to reduce its own carbon footprint then? Good question. Um, yes, I, I mean, of course, um, decarbonization and, and energy transition is the most critical part of the world currently. And we recognize this. And of course, we also respond as a company to this. So um, we have set our targets to achieve carbon neutrality by 2040, especially for scope one and scope two. Um, and we have done this, we have set an um, uh, environmental program uh, last year in place where we systematically and sustainable reduce energy consumption, but also CO2 emissions. And um, as, a, as a first interim goal, uh, we are transforming uh, all our energy consumption towards renewable energies. Um, and that's kind of what our contribution to it is. Very impressive indeed. What's happening in the future? Well, where, where, which direction are you going? And what are your long-term sustainability goals within the industry? We strongly believe that it's not kind of the technology or the other. We strongly believe that there is multiple efforts from multiple companies necessary to join together in order to make this uh, transition happening. We are one piece of it. Um, the beauty in our company is we don't 
we don't care so much whether the future stays in hydrogen or methanol or ammoniac or whatever it is at the end of the day. So we support with our products all those ways. Um, so we believe it's a joint effort. Um, so, so we are supporting all of, of those different ways to go. Um, and I think only then we can really drive really an energy transition for the world, right? A great insight there into Ren Group. Thank you so much. Turning ambition into action and no shortage of ambition there as well. So thank you so much. And uh, great to have you here at COP28. Thank you very much.